Hey guys, so I'm with my Ford F-150 2016 with the six point, they call it the six and a half foot bed, but it's really bigger than that, it's like 6.7, which is good because this plus size cot I have, Allagash Plus, fits in there just fine. And I was looking like, well, with the tonneau cover, you could sleep in here. So let's take a look. There is definitely room under here to sleep. If you put your head facing out, there's room. Now, the trick would be if you wanted the tailgate up due to weather. That might be a little tricky. I think you would pretty much have to unlock it on that side for the tonneau cover, fold this part way, get inside, shut the tailgate, or climb over the tailgate after it's shut, get in, and roll this out, and then pull down on it, which might be pretty hard with the tailgate there. I don't know how much, I don't think there's that much room, so that might be very, very difficult or figure uh, out a way to close the tailgate while you're in here. But if you could sleep with it open, this would provide you, you know, a little shelter. I guess if you park just right, or, you know, had your head at the other end and the truck down, then if it were to rain, I guess everything would run off, right? In theory. But this isn't ideal, but it could be done. So I'm probably going to skip on it, but let's take a look at the cab. So with the super cab, you get the door that opens all the way. This door's opened all the way. Seat is all, I already put it forward and reclined. This is how much room you have. Same for passenger, same for driver. So you get a lot more room in here. And with the back seats folded up, this is what it looks like if I just throw a sleeping bag down for cushion. This would be for cushion, not for freezing your butt off. Now the next thing is getting in. I'll take my shoes off just like if I was out somewhere because I didn't want to track dirt in. Let's assume I have a mat on the ground and I would grab this door and I would get in and I would shut it. So that door shuts. So now I got the back door shut. I have plenty, at least for my size, room to reach out, grab the driver's door, and shut it. And with my key fob, I could lock the doors, and the vehicle would be locked. All right, here's my key. There, we're locked. And I could use the seat rest here as a place to put stuff. Um, Plenty of room for at least my size that I could change to somewhat reasonable to be able to change. Mainly privacy, changing undies, that type of stuff you wouldn't want to do outside if there's other people around. But then I could step out if I have a mat there and put on my motorcycle gear for example. But let's take a look of me laying down. Let's see if I can get that on video. I can lay down in this vehicle. Um, plenty of room. My knees are bent. You can't see, but they're bent. But because of this, it acts like a curve into the next area. And if you're a side, I'm a, more of a side sleeper. So I could easily turn. I'm facing the back of the truck. And I, and I fit just fine. I'm 5'10", 5'11". And if I turn the other way, you know, my body wraps around this part, and if I had a pillow, I could uh, lay here just fine. And it's really not too uncomfortable. I think I'd throw one more sleeping bag down on the ground here just for more cushion, and then another one for a cover, which I do have two more, uh, two smaller ones. So I think that's what I, I would do. And I'm in my vehicle, if I need it, I could put the key in, 
and unlike an SUV that I found in my Jeep Grand Cherokee, it was very hard to get in between when I one time slept in the back with the seats folded down. It wasn't comfortable at all. And unlocking doors were just a headache. But uh, with this, assuming my daughter's car seat was, I didn't throw that up here. If the car seat wasn't in the way here, we'll, we'll act like I don't have the car seat. We'll put that there. So, tilt you guys up some. But without the car seat that was on top of here, I got all this room. And, you know, I got easy access to, as you saw, I could get around real easy. I can put the key in. I can get the car going so I can put windows down. I could even reach around here and put the window down or cracked for nighttime. Um, if it's cooler anyways, wouldn't matter. Uh, tonneau cover, I can just put my gear, you know, there. I got floor space right there um, with the vehicle. It'd be kind of stupid for somebody to mess with you. I'm gonna be with other people. They might be in an RV or tent, but with other people around and I'm in my vehicle, and I can lock my motorcycle up. It's, I think this works pretty good. Gear in the back with the tonneau cover, people won't really notice, it's a locking tailgate. So, you know, they would have to destroy the, the you know, tonneau cover with me in the vehicle, which if they start wiggling any, I'm gonna be like, what's going on? And I can pop up with a flashlight, like, hey, and they're, they're probably gonna run off. It's not, not gonna be expecting that, right? Um, but I would be with other people anyways, but if you weren't, I don't know. This seems like it would work pretty dang good. I have cup holders here. I have, if it got really cold, I could start the truck and have the heat on for a bit just to warm it up in here. Uh, I, I think there's enough room. I mean, it's no worse than a little tent to be able to maneuver to, you know, take things off and, uh, you know, undress. It's no worse than a small tent. I think there's plenty of space. If I needed a spot, I just wanna, maybe I just wanna read a little bit at night or something. You know, I wanna read or something. I just put this cushion down, there I go. And then that kinda aids me, you know, getting dressed, taking pants off, putting on shorts or whatever for the night in you know plenty of room and if i want a different position i guess maybe the floor is bothering me for some reason my back i was riding hard and it's tweaked you know i could sit here just different positions i'm that probably wouldn't be real comfy but maybe i want to watch a movie and just have the uh, kindle or ipad or chromebook out laptop whatever you know i could sit here play with it on the back of the seat and that would work really good. I have a power outlet that's right there. Probably not gonna have anything powered or plugged into that at night, because that would probably poke you, because you're that close to it. So for my weight, for my height, I think this works pretty good, actually. I'm actually surprised how well this works. So I might be doing this at the end of May, and that's why I wanted to see if under tonneau cover or in the cab would work, and I'm thinking in the cab. It's for a long weekend, why not? Give it a try and I'll report back to you guys. So truck owners will definitely be interested whether you know you can survive a few nights. I wouldn't probably want to do this for a week, but hey, if you're hardcore, maybe you could. So check back for the following video and I'll let you know how it goes and I'll probably even show you some footage from the uh, event I'm going to where I'm gonna be camping for the weekend, meeting these uh, guys and gals, and I think this worked pretty good. I like the idea of in the cab versus under the tonneau cover. Plus, this is definitely waterproof, more soundproof, and you know, a little bit warmer too. Even if it's cold outside, this is gonna be warmer than in a tent. You know, just because heat's not going to escape. So that's where 
cracking the windows some is going to come in handy. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Have a good one.